The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to the people in the synagogue at Nazareth, Amen, I say to you, no prophet is accepted in his own native place. Indeed, I tell you, there were many widows in Israel in the days of Elijah, when the sky was closed from three and a half years, and a severe famine spread over the entire land. It was not no, it was to none of these that Elijah was sent, but only to a widow set a path in the land of Sidon. Again, there were many lepers in Israel during the time of Elisha the prophet, yet not one of them was cleansed, but only Naaman the Syrian. When the people in the synagogue heard this, they were all filled with fury. They rose up, drove him out of the town, and led him to the brow of the hill on which their town had been built to hurl him down headlong. But he passed through the midst of them and went away. The Gospel of the Lord. It is good for us to remember that in this third week of Lent, we are going to hear a lot of experiences from many people in the Old Testament by receiving the mercy of God of healing, curing, restoration to society and culture and uh, also the worship of God. So today's uh, example is a man who is just trusting himself and always looking just in the third on the third on the things on earth as he is recommended to God to the prophet the prophet says what to do and he like this is not going to be good i know the good weather the wood waters and the well waters are from this river not to the jordan and i must be cleansed in these waters not to that fountain of the river jordan and so on so he thinks he has the answer to his own sickness and illness. But still, these little ones of the people of Israel, who is telling them, such as the servants, such as this little girl that is telling him, you got to go and obey what God is commanded you. And doing that, he experienced that healing, power, and mercy of God. So during this third week of Lent, let us all come to the font of healing, font of mercy, which is the Holy Eucharist. In each of these days of so this week that are going to pass so fast um, uh, for us, let us always remember that there is something that God wants to share and offer us, which is love, mercy, and also the healing of the interior of life. So once we are restored, once we are healed, we may bring others to this fountain through our own experience. So just to tell the people, we just need, need to tell the people what is our own experience of this merciful God. Amen.